Israel is doing more right now to protect human life and to has done more over the past 16 years to avoid this outcome than we would expect of any nation in the world. Israel is, is going into the West Bank and killing children. It's never doing that deliberately. Israel is unique in the Mideast for saying we're only going to attack military targets. Saturday, he took to Twitter, writing, quote, As president, I'll make sure that our policy is unambiguous so that the enemies of Israel will think long and hard before attempting aggression of any kind. If Israel disappeared, Russia and China would be controlling the Mideast, and they control 90 percent of the world's oil. I would make no move in Afghanistan until first I spoke to Afghan women. I want to hear from the Afghani women. And what I find is I will make one tweet and people say, oh, that's our policy. And one tweet, well, no, I said a whole lot more than that. An issue where I believe that taking a tough stance with China is long overdue. It's time. We should not be allowing them to take advantage of us the way they are at the expense, not only of the American worker, but possibly even American security. I do not uh, agree that uh, uh, withdrawing support from Ukraine uh, is responsible to democracy, is responsible to the West. I think people on the far left honestly believe, those who want to cut uh, the funding specifically for Ukraine, I feel that this is just a continuation of the same old, same old war machine, uh, basically imperialistic um, uh, activity. I believe that the imperialism of, of um, uh, Russia and uh, uh, Vladimir Putin, is, that that's the imperialism I'm concerned uh, about on this particular one. Some leftists that I know in Europe think, I find it very odd that the left here seems to be what they perceive to be soft on Putin. 14 billion to Israel, another 14 billion for border security. You can see uh, on down the line there. Are the wars in Israel and Ukraine more than the United States can take on? We can take care of both of these and still maintain our overall international defense. We will not allow Iran to acquire a nuclear weapon. Playing BB, finish the job once and for all. I think it's serious about the top threat that this country faces, which is the Chinese Communist Party. So I would turn the screws on the Venezuelan regime. Iran responds to strength. You punch them one and you punch them hard and they will back off. I tell what I really predict is going to happen, yeah. Gaza is going to be annihilated, and they're going to end Hamas's reign in Gaza. That will be over. And I don't think there's going to be much for people to go back to there. That is going to be Israel's decision to make, and we should support whatever decision they do make. Israel has the right and the responsibility to defend itself. We can help you, Mexico, regain your sovereignty from the Mexican drug cartels who are spilling over into our own homeland here. But if you don't do it, then we will come in and get the job done ourselves. We're keeping the oil. We have the oil. The oil is secure. Uh, we left troops behind only for the oil. Iran will never be allowed to have a nuclear weapon. Trump administration officials signaled as early as August their support for providing defensive lethal weapons to Ukraine. Defensive weapons are not provocative unless you're an aggressor. Fully support Israel in defeating, dismantling, and permanently destroying the terrorist group known as Hamas.